Hello. The purpose of this video is to show you the apparatus that you need for the flywheel crack. Okay, so I want to show you first how to set up the apparatus. You have a mass, and here's the flywheel. So you, on the flywheel there is a pin, and you attach the one end of the string to the pin, and then you roll up the string, and that gives the, the mass piece some potential energy. All right, now we're all set and ready to go. So to start the motion, you release the flywheel and the mass accelerates downwards and at the same time, the flywheel undergoes angular acceleration. All right, there are two parts to this motion. This is the first part. And then at some point, the string comes off and this is the second part of the motion. In this part of the motion, the flywheel is slowing down because of friction. Now the question you have to answer is whether energy is conserved in the first part of the motion. Okay, so what you need to know is the initial potential energy of the mass and then the final energy of the system. The um, translational kinetic energy of the mass and the rotational kinetic energy of the, of the flywheel. Now to, in order to do that you need to know the speed. And to get the speed you know the distance so you can use the timer to measure the time that it takes for the mass piece to fall. Friction is not negligible in this situation. So you need to know what the force of friction is and the really useful thing is we can use the second part of the motion to work that out. So for the second part of the motion what you need to know is how many times the flywheel goes round um, and then you'll be able to all work it all out. Enjoy!